Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So you may or may not have seen a video I made a little while ago on YouTube on how to install Windows 10 on the Western Digital Blue Drive, the 500 gig. Now, in that video, of course, I showed you how to install Windows 10. But maybe you bought this drive because you already have a Western Digital Blue Drive as your C drive or your Windows 10 drive. You want a D drive or another drive to install your games or applications on to make sure you have super fast access times and loading times and, you know, all that good stuff and your read times. Now, it's not as simple as just, you know, installing the drive, turning on your computer and it works. You actually have to prepare it. So I've already created a video on how to install it not only Windows 10, but how to install the actual drive in your machine. Now I'm going to show you here how to actually initialize the drive so that you can use it. So first off, while in Windows, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on the start menu down here and click disk management. All right, so in a few seconds, you're going to get the initialized disk prompt. It's just telling you that, hey, disk one um, needs to be initialized so that you can use it. So they give you two options, MBR or GPT. MBR stands for Master Boot Record. It was developed by uh, IBM in 1983, and it's only limited to two terabytes. Now, mind you, this is a 500 gig. It will work. It will work totally fine. And then on top of that, you can only have four partitions. Now, GPT or GUID, par GUID partition table was developed by Intel not too long ago. Okay, and in this one, you can have up to 128 partitions. So in my case, I'm just going to leave this as one large drive. But, you know, if anything, that's something to, to know for later on. Uh, you can always change this later on, but you will actually have to delete the entire partition. But, you know, just showing you how to do it now. Again, you can either select MBR. Or GPT. Myself, even though I'm going to keep it as OneDrive because it's newer, I'm going to select GPT and click OK. Okay, but we're not done yet. So, okay, it's allocated. Now, I'm sorry, it's online now. It's not offline anymore, but it's unallocated. What does that mean? Well, that means it's there, but we can't do anything with it. You just bought a new house. You can't do anything to it till they give you those keys. So, on this drive, we're going to want to right click on it. We can either select a new simple volume, spanned, striped, or mirrored. Since we don't have RAID, we're not going to select these three. So we'll select new simple volume. Okay. So on the new simple volume wizard, we're going to click next on the first screen. Here is where we can select if you we want to set uh, have a 200 gig partition, then another 200 gig partition and then maybe a 65 gig partition. Here, we would just type in 200,000, that's 200 gigs. Or, you know, 65, one, two, three, that's 65 gigs, all right? But I want the entire drive, so I'm just gonna put it at the default, okay? And now I'm gonna click Next. And then under assign the following drive letter, I'll select whichever volume letter I like or mount in the following empty NTFS folder, which we're not going to do, or do not assign a drive letter to the path. I want to though. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this guy and let's make it drive Z just so I can show it to you. And now I'll click next and I can name it. Maybe I don't want to format it, but I definitely want to format it. That way I can use it. Here you can select NTFS or XFAT. We'll leave it as NTFS. And maybe allocation unit size. Default's always good with me. And volume name, Z drive, WD blue. This is just an example. You can name it whatever you want or not name it or however you like. Again, you could just that's fine too, but we'll Z drive WD, oops, WD blue. All right, quick format, because if not, that will take 
over half an hour, over an hour, maybe a few hours. And I don't want to enable file and folder compression because while it does make everything smaller, it just takes sometimes a little bit longer to access the information. So after selecting, make sure you select perform a quick format and click next. All this important information, kind of, and then click finish. All right, so it's going to say formatting just for a few seconds because we selected quick. All right, there we go. And it says down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and right click on here. File Explorer. I'll select this PC. And then we have it right here. Z Drive WD Blue. If I double click on it, you'll see all these files. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just formatted it. Of course, you're not going to see anything on it. So again, Z Drive, nothing on it. And well, I just wanted to give you guys some information on how to do that. Again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how to actually utilize your drive if you don't want to use it as a boot drive. Again, this was this particular example was on the Western Digital Blue Drive, the 500 gig. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.